back to another video guys in this video i will show you uh, basically a little fault that keeps coming up on the uh, dash so what's happening engine management light comes on coil light comes on as well it's a 160 diesel audi a1 and this is the fault that came up okay as you can see so this could be quite a few things um so where shall i start i mean this is your first position here this here okay and then it could be other things as well like uh, i know i know sometimes it will trigger that code if you have got like a, a, a pipe that's you know um, not in the best condition there's a leakage but mainly it goes back to this now what you can do is replace this or you can remap it and take that out obviously you will get more power in the car uh, but i always recommend to you know stick to standard um like i said it may be a, le a little bit of leakage hence why it may be not um but anyway we've fitted a new one okay that says active i won't worry about that because it should be passive now that i've connected it all back up um i'll get rid of that in a second and then you go into basic settings so if you're using hotel you go into basic setting and then we'll reset the air system so we'll reset this one there is another uh ba -ba -ba. there's a few more so we'll reset uh let's have a look what else can we do i'm just trying to read we'll reset some of the reset oxygen sensor learn that's all to do with the exhaust as well so we'll reset everything hopefully using this machine so i'll do it one at a time um and then hopefully that's fine and then let's go into this let's start that's fine that's no, fine i'm just gonna even though i've done that one that kind of covers everything but i just do it in case because sometimes these diagnostic machines i'm not gonna lie it's not the best of the best and they may not do it so that's an adoption anyway i'm just gonna do that anyways for the sake not active forget about that so they're all tests and you've got adaption as well on the adaption section here you've got these but i'm not really overly fussed with them um here it is codes yes so here we are that's done so yeah i mean as i said it's certainly the mass airflow is that causing it more than anything so hopefully since changing that that should kind of resolve the fault obviously the only way around this would be to take it for a drive let the car reset so basically a, a normal standard drive should reset everything or, or in an all round and if there is a fault it will come back up on here and honestly sometimes if you're going to get the constant same fault over and over again i you know just remap it probably less hassle but if you don't which i would say try and stick to the most basic and put the genuine stuff on